Previously on Startup, I founded a startup called NotVine.com where you can share 6.1 second videos. I then brought in three of my friends to help me build the most innovative video platform. And I met up with Aria. We secretly hate each other and constantly compare our dick size. I just, me, I just sold the other company. I'm just relaxing now, trying to figure out what to do next. Yeah, uh, I'm excited, but oh, I'm also afraid. It's just getting really hard. You know, managing all these relationships at once. It's, it's getting too hard. What excites you about the relationship you have with your employees? Wait, what? No, I was talking about my Tinder relationship. God, you never listen to me. But to be honest, I just can't get Arya off my mind. Who's Arya? Oh, he's, he's just some startup founder. Uh, we recently played chess. He's and just a startup founder? I think it means more to you than that. We used to be best friends. But then, things changed. Things really changed. Can you tell me a little bit about your relationship with Joma? You know, we were friends then. Best friends, even. How'd you guys meet? He was in the study room, struggling with a simple assignment. But I knew he was smarter than that. He came up to me, offering his help. Thank God, because I just couldn't focus. I was about to give up. Something else was consuming him. I could see that he was pretty broken at the time. So I thought I could bring him under my wing. I gave him a better place to stay, better resources, better contacts, a better life. Nobody wanted to give him a chance, but I saw the potential in him. He was kind to me, extremely kind. I didn't deserve it. He let me stay with him in his apartment. He gave me my own room. He even got me all the textbooks I needed for school. He really took me out of the dumps. You know, he even guided me through my academic career. Without him, I would have been lost. He's the reason why I am who I am today. From algorithms to statistics to cryptocurrencies, he taught me everything. He made sure I knew the right things. He made sure I succeeded. He would have been nothing without me. All of his internships, he got those through me. Except Microsoft. That was more him. That's thoughtful. I wanted the best for him. I really did. I did everything I could for him. Until the incident. What happened? I should have known. I feel so stupid looking back. I just couldn't face the truth. I don't know. I mean, he just changed. He used to be kind and warm, but I think one day I just realized that he wasn't the selfless person I thought he was. He even kicked me out of the house. I mean, I appreciate everything he's done for me. I mean, come on, man, where the fuck was I supposed to go? He knew I had nothing. <laughs> you know, I should've known. People like him, they don't hang with people like me. How did you feel? It was, it was humiliating. I miss Arya. I really do. Even if he had exterior motives to bring me in, I was really happy. I still don't know what he wanted from me, but obviously I didn't have it anymore. That's why he just pushed me away. I didn't ask why. I mean, I didn't deserve his kindness, but things just got worse. And that's where he crossed the line. I never confronted him about it. 
because it just wouldn't matter. I didn't want his apology. I just wanted to break him. I'll make him feel the pain that I felt until he's completely broken. I'll make him regret everything that he did. All right, guys, so today uh, I paid a consultant to make uh, this video for us. Um, it's gonna tell us, you know, how to think about MVPs, so. What's the MVP? You mean like LeBron? Wait, what's a LeBron? Oh, he's the MVP. All right, whatever. All right, let's just play the video. So the biggest problem that startups run into is creating something that nobody wants to buy. This wastes years of work and thousands of dollars only to leave you broke and unemployed just like a college degree. So to stop this from happening, I thought I'd go over the concept of an MVP and how this can help you grow your company. So what is an MVP? This often gets confused with most valuable player, but I think that comparison is kind of unfair because if you're trying to start a startup, chances are you have zero athletic ability. Instead, MVP here means minimum viable product, a rough version of your idea that takes a minimal amount of effort, but is still good enough that users can get a taste of the full product. Similar to how dating someone is sort of a taste of what marriage will be like, and in my case, I've been told I taste like insecurity and an absentee father. Now, the reason you want to build an MVP is because it lets you learn what your customers like and don't like as quickly as possible. This is a pretty important concept because 90% of startups fail because they have no clue what their customers want. Like this one time, I was sitting at McDonald's and thought of a really good app idea. It involved a dating app where girls would choose guys based only on their personality and finally give nice guys a fighting chance. But then I asked myself, would I date someone based only on their personality? I'll let you decide. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what an MVP looks like. The answer to that depends on what you're trying to build, so I thought it'd be helpful to show a few real-life examples. Let's say you wanted to build an app where people could store and share files online. You could do one of two things. One, quit your job and spend years trying to make the app yourself. Or two, hire someone to create a 30-second video of what that app would look like and show it to investors for millions of dollars. While option one sounds attractive, the MVP here is two, and that's what Dropbox did. Or well, let's say you wanted to figure out if a girl or guy liked you. Your MVP here would be a small, low-pressure invite like, Hey, I'm going out to dinner with friends. Do you want to come along? We're grabbing pizza. Smiley face. And a few things can happen here. 1. She won't respond to you. 2. She says something short like haha or lol. Or 3. She says, no, I thought I told you I'm not interested. When this happens, you might try to convince yourself that she's still into you, but chances are, she is into you, so just wait a few days and try again. So by now, you're probably wondering how to actually build an MVP, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you. Now, the steps I'll be outlining might seem simple at first, but there's a bit of math involved, so you'll need to pay close attention. And just before we start, I thought I should mention that these steps are approved by the International Board of Startup Venture Capitalists, which means, rest assured, it's coming from a source of authority. So without further ado, here are the steps to building your first MVP. Step 1. Don't. We have enough startups already. So I hope that was helpful and best of luck in your startup journey. John. All right, so what do you guys think? We need to start off by building our backend infrastructure. We can leverage Amazon CDNs, load balancers, and lambdas. Modularize our infrastructure by using microservices so that we can set up elastic scaling and save money. I don't think we should do that. It's the most cost efficient solution. Well, we don't even know if we're going to get that many users. It's a total overkill. Yes, it might save some capital, but development time is our most limited resource, and we can't waste time thinking about scalability on an MVP. Right now, our most limited resource is my patience with your shitty ideas. Why can't we just have a Facebook page and let people post their videos there and see if that grows? That's actually a really good and smart MVP. But for the sake of this web series, we have to do something more complicated. 
All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Wait, what do you have the final say? Because I went to Waterloo. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. So as an MVP, we're just gonna make a purely consumption site. The reason why is because we wanna validate if there's actually demand for our website. So that's why we're just gonna make a simple web app. What we'll do is that we'll pretend that it's invite only to be able to produce on our platform. But in reality, we don't have a production site. But what we're really gonna do is just that we're gonna steal old Vine videos and post them on our website. That way the consumer side will think that we're producing videos using the mobile app, which is invite only. For growth, we'll have a Facebook page and we'll put only the best of the best find videos there and then we'll just boost the shit out of it with ad credits. All right, so here's what we need. We need someone to build the whole web app, front end and back end. We don't have enough resources to separate them. That's why we need someone to own the whole full stack. I'm on it. All right, who wants to write the crawler to get all the best find videos and then write pipelines to funnel them in into our website? Got it. John, can you write the fake landing page for the mobile website? And also, can you set up the CDN so we can serve videos faster? And I'll manage the Facebook page and start growing it. All right, let's do it. All right, what do you think of this? No, we can't launch that. It looks exactly like Vine. No, this is perfect. All right, guys, this is really good. All right, so next, what are we gonna guys, do? I think you might wanna look at this. Oh, shit. It's not good. What's poppin'? So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I definitely had fun making it, uh, so I hope you guys had fun watching it. Um, I just wanna give a shout out to Matthew Cho. He's my new cinematographer, he's amazing. So I want you guys to check out his stuff because um, I don't know, he's probably one of the best cinematographers I've ever met. And uh, yeah, he deserves a shout out. Second shout out, I wanna shout out to the Sinful Engineer. Thank you for giving me that clip about MVP. This guy's hilarious. Yeah, so you should check that out. I put his uh, link on the description. And also, of course, uh, if you like this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Come on, what are you waiting for? And uh, yeah, thank you so much and see you on the next episode. Peace.